My name is Riccardo Matlacas. I'm an Italian artist based in London. This is my studio. Um, my practice uh, involves performance art, installation, painting and sculpture. I'm also a dancer and I'm going to talk about uh, one work of art um, in particular which is called Long Live the Queen and it's this work next to me. Uh, it is inspired and made uh, during the lockdown in London and it is inspired by everything is happening during this period of time. The fear of people to be infected, uh, the crowds that don't exist anymore, so the social distancing. Uh, but it, it also explains a little bit the mess of the human being, human species, as a, someone, as a species that made a mess before this pandemic happened, like wars, like trouble of that, of the, in that sense. And now, in this painting in particular, I want to highlight the fear of people, the fear of this invisible entity, this entity that exists, which kills uh, worldwide. Uh, it's very interesting because now that the uh, most uh, developed countries are, uh, are uh, getting this virus, uh, there is a lot of worry going on, but there, there was a very little understanding of uh, underdeveloped countries that were having already trouble, but different kind. So injustice, conflict, uh, people dying for many reasons, for illnesses, but also hunger or scarcity of water uh, uh, and anyway war in particular so one example is uh, Palestine uh, uh, another example is uh, on the border with uh, Ukraine and Russia or uh, uh, Karabakh and Azerbaijan there's many many uncountable examples racism everywhere so these are all uh, uh, faulty things of human beings. So this painting is called Long Live the Queen because the Queen, you know, like Corona in Italian means crown. So I wanted to make a little bit of a joke with the, with the crown and the Queen because I live in London, Long Live the Queen. This Queen is very old lady, so I don't know how long she will live. So it's a little bit of a parody of a human being Think, sometimes don't think about death uh, as a condition that we all go through. So this is also one of the things that this painting talks about, but also talks about, uh, as you see here, the gray part, it talks about uh, technology and radio waves and 5G, and, you know, all these things that might be also problematic for our health. Also, I put a lot of toilet paper rolls as toilet paper has been so discussed, which I, on my opinion is so stupid. Society really focuses on really stupid things in a way. Um, yeah, this is all about the painting and I like people to grasp what they want from it. So this was made April 2020. I go on with your, you gave me questions to answer. So, what impressed me the most during the pandemic? Right, um, I guess the community came more together, which is good. And also, one thing that I noticed is that, you know, with this social distancing thing, there is this two meter bubble and between people, so imagine we are surrounded by a sphere, elastic sphere, and when we bump into each other, we, we will keep that distance, like we have an invisible bubble. So that distance became dense, so dense that I feel almost that there is no space in between us, we are more connected, and our aura expanded, so we became bigger then, our individual became bigger, as we, when we walk, we make other people walk away from us, so they feel our 
body extended, expanded. So I think I have a fun, I have much fun with it actually when I'm in the street. I really try this and it's so funny if I go close to someone, someone goes far from me and I do the same because we have this condition in our mind, that space. So somehow uh, this, this uh, social distancing made a very interesting kind of happening in my perception when I walk in the street. Yeah, and yeah, I would say. I would. So you ask me also, what is my country situation during the pandemic, and which measures were taken because of it? Uh, well, I live in uh, UK and I am Italian. In Italy, you know how strict it was during the pandemic. Uh, here, it wasn't that strict. The first week uh, felt like uh, everyone had fear, but somehow after a week already people was out and still now we are in lockdown but uh, people is out uh, enjoying life in a way even if shops are closed of course there is still that distancing thing going on the bubble which is very interesting but uh, here luckily or unluckily we were free and uh, i'm glad in a way because i could choose what to do when I want to. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was like this here, when in Italy was a proper lockdown, uh, where people got fined if they were going out and things like that. Um, next is, uh, your question uh, is, after the pandemic, do you think the, relation, the relationship among the people from different countries be closer or more alienated and why I okay this is a very peculiar question but I think maybe people uh, is seen as people and uh, hopefully more will be like that that people is seen as people but in this case people is seen as someone that can contract the virus and can give the virus so someone coughing is someone coughing and doesn't have a race which, in a way, this is what we needed because uh, there is very little understanding that where you come from doesn't matter and actually it only enriches our life uh, to have a diversity of culture and habits and it's great. I don't understand why human being has always been fighting the other when the other can bring so much to us. I will end like this and thanks so much.